There are many formulae that can be used to calculate pi, the most popular one being Chaknovsky's formula, which is a series that actually calculates 1 over pi and involves square roots in it. Unfortunately, since we will have to implement arbitrary precision square roots, multiplication, and reciprocation within the spreadsheet itself, which is not a simple task, Chaknovsky's formula is unsuitable for our purposes. Instead, we will be using Marchin series. Pi equals to 16 times arctangent 1 over 5 minus 4 times arctangent 1 over 239. The reason for this is that there's a simple algorithm for directly computing arctangent 1 over n in any base. The idea is to treat the arctangent Taylor series at 1 over n as a number in the mixed base with fractional digits, and then to convert this into base 10 by repeatedly multiplying it by 10 and extracting the integer part. By separately computing 16 octangent 1 over 5 and 4 octangent 1 over 239, with this generalized base conversion algorithm, we can then use an adder to calculate pi to hundreds of decimal places. This is what a basic ripple carry adder looks like. This adds two numbers with one digit per cell and spits out the result also with one digit per cell. So you have 7 plus 7 gives 14, so we write down 4 and carry 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5, write down 5, carry 0. 9 plus 1 is 10, write down 0, carry 1. 4 plus 9 plus 1 is 14, write down 4, carry 1, and so on. This is an implementation of the generalized base conversion algorithm to calculate arctangent 1 over 5. This, is, this column corresponds to the first digit after the radix point, this the second digit, the third digit, the fourth, and so on. The base for this column is 5, and for subsequent columns, the base is taken to be negative 25. So we start with 1 over 1 in the first column, 1 over 3 in the second column, 1 over 5 in the third column, and so on. Although note that we have the denominators factored out so that the spreadsheet only ever deals with integers as we do not want to handle rounding issues. Since we want 200 decimal places and we get a bit more than one decimal place per term, 200 terms of this arctangent series corresponding to 200 columns here should be enough. We want a bit of buffer in case we run into weird edge cases, so we have just a bit more. At each iteration, we multiply by the output base, which is 10, and then do a ripple carry and extract the integer part. You may have noticed that there are negative values produced here, even though negative 1 is clearly not a legal decimal digit. This is an artifact of how our mixed base system includes negative bases. This turns out not to be an issue, as our adder will resolve it neatly. Rather than computing arctangent 1 over 5 and separately multiplying by 16, we can also directly compute 16 times of arctangent 1 over 5 directly. This changes all of the input values from 1 over 1 to 16 over 1, 1 over 3 to 16 over 3, 1 over 5 to 16 over 5, and so on. And to reduce the size of the spreadsheet, Rather than extracting only one digit at a time, which would require 5 rows times 200, which would be 1000 rows, we can increase the base to something like 10 to the power of 4 to extract 4 digits at a time. So we have 3.1583, 2895, 7598, 0921, and so on for this value, which is 16 times of arctangent 1 over 5. This is the same algorithm, but for calculating 4 times of arctangent 1 over 239. 
As the Taylor series for arpendrum over 239 converges faster, we may use fewer columns in this sheet to get the same amount of precision. So here, we see we only go up to 51 columns compared to 200 plus in the previous sheet. In the earlier sheets, we, the generated digits were separated by a bunch of black rows, as you see here, 0, blank, 0 0.0167, blank, 3630. As the intermediate rows were used for calculating intermediate values, we first collate these values without the blanks in between by using the index function and then use an adder to subtract 4 octangent 1 over 239 from 16 octangent 1 over 5 thereby obtaining pi 3.1415, etc. To finish it off, note that some of the cells have fewer than 4 digits such as this one 0781 and we want them to be zero padded on the left accordingly. We could format the cells which is the easy way out or we could use the base function which is what I did here. As you may verify this gives 206 correct decimal places of pi with the last two being off due to rounding error. And that's how you calculate pi with a spreadsheet.